right, so I'm down here closing down the garden. Um, I've pretty much decided I'm going to clean up a few things, go through here and get this dead grass maybe, um, and just close it down for the winter. Um, I know that sounds silly, but I just... <sighs> Getting down here and getting stuff done in the last couple of months has been really hard. So I harvested all the loofahs and I, I don't have them all peeled yet, but I'm working on it. I've got a pile of compost here, a pile of compost there, and a pile way over there. So this has been cleared out from Vine City, which was amazingly huge. You can tell where all the tall grass was. This is where we are solarizing. It's supposed to be a fall garden, so couldn't get to it. Um, and since we couldn't get to it, nothing was planted on time. So, um, no fall garden. We've already had two hard freezes. Um, it is what it is. Now, this right here, I am actually down here cutting it back roots and all kinds of stuff. Um, my lavender is doing good. Lemon balm is doing as it would for a freeze. I mean, and I have no idea why, but we have time. And it is still supple. It's, it's like the freeze isn't getting it. I thought I might put something over it, um, but I haven't yet. So, if it makes it, it makes it. Um, I am getting ready to put all these things back together. Um, I've got a tote over there I'm going to fill, or a tub I'm going to fill with dirt um i'm going to top some of these guys off but the big project for closing down this garden is and i've thought long and hard about this because i'm i'm worried number one which i shouldn't be but i am just my nature uh, i don't know enough about these things and when i say these things i mean these grow towers um we get down to where it freezes pretty solid um, of course, everything's gone off of it. This was basil. Um, I got some leaves and stuff, and I'm sure there's probably some seeds in there. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. What I'm going to do is take it. I'm scared that in a hard freeze, this plastic right here is going to um, crack. It's going to freeze and chip, and, and I just don't want that. I want it to last for many years, so what I've decided is I'm going to... Mm, that still smells like basil. Oh my gosh, it still smells so wonderful. Anyway, so I'm going to take it down row by row and pull out the plants, take it down, use this dirt elsewhere in the garden. I'm not going to waste it, and then next year it'll get fresh dirt. My only concern is these worms down here, and we will see how that goes. <laughs> I really will. Um, I may try and keep them in a worm box. Um, I have an idea on that, but we'll see. <laughs> a worm box becomes a little plastic tote, just saying. So, um, we'll see how many worms there are in there. We are going to break this all down and take it into the barn and use this dirt in different tubs around the garden. So, I'm going to okay, get so to I work. just pulled off the top layer. And I'm now getting ready to do the second layer. And look down in there and see that there's stuff in there for the worms. We'll, we'll see. I'm trying to keep the dirt from going in there. It's kind of, I'm pretty much just shoveling it by hand. But anyway, um, you can see that the root systems from up above, I've had to break through. And they have all the way down through there. So, um, yeah. We'll see how deep some of them are. Okay, so I literally have finished uh, um, breaking this down, which is fine. Um, we're going to move it into the barn. It breaks down pretty small for being that tall grow tower thing. So this will be stored in the barn. And um, I did find <laughs> that our little friend, the snake, if you remember RJ's videos about he hated the garden because, yeah, little friend, snake friend. Yeah, there's one of my worms. Come here, big guy. I must have dumped you. Sorry. He's cold. Um, one of our snake friends. It, it was up in here in the garden. And if you look, it's got a little tunnel that goes up in there. And it goes right underneath these cinder blocks. And I don't know where it comes up over there. So RJ's going to be happy that we found that so that he doesn't have to deal with it. He'll stay way away. But anyway, for the worms and the compost, um, I'm actually going to cover this. There's still some composting items 
and some cucumbers and stuff. We're going to just throw it in here. All the worms are in there. And then once I get this moved, I'm not going to add weight to it to move it. But once I get this moved, I'm going to layer it with that so it'll keep my worms nice and alive and warm for the winter. Now, is that going to put my worms back in my grow tower? Probably not. I'm not going to come dig them out of this. But it'll make good dirt. If you remember, we, we grew the um, yellow cucumbers here. And if you remember, that did astronomical. So I'm sure it depleted the, the soil some. So by putting all that stuff back in there, the worm castings, the roots, the whatever hasn't compost down, and then covering it with soil, I think we'll do just fine. Anyway, closing down the garden, essentially it's pretty much closed down. Um, if I want to come down and get any onions, it's just for my use. Um, the trees are all pretty much done. In the spring, we'll remulch around them with wool. I do have a couple of bags up there of wool that I saved for something. And she never came and got them, so they're going around the trees today. And um, if I want to come down, I still have some tea coming back, and it's all young tea, so I may get in here and harvest again. I clipped it all back and then found some more, and so yeah, get this down and just not going to do a whole lot to it. It pretty much just going to sit like this. Um, through the winter so get this into the barn move these two totes and then I'm going to concentrate on that new trellis system and that um, what do you call it uh, herb garden next year so the trellis system is probably going to go somewhere else our goal and this is why I haven't figured out where it's going to go yet our goal is to keep this path right here a driveway. Um, we have guys that come on the tat, and when the she shack gets in place, when I'm not using it, they'll be free to stay there at night on the Trans American Trail across the United States, a dirt bike on 90% of dirt roads. So we want to keep that kind of as a little driveway. So um, the trellis system, honestly, it may go right here, but I, I'm just not really sure i think i'm just scared because it went so out of control and it went from here all the way down to the road last year me cutting it back it went up into these trees it just went everywhere but i think the new trellis system will be amazing okay so it's official i have closed down the garden um everything is pulled up off of this um i put down my tarps we'll see i may bust some hay underneath there later um, I've taken all the piles that were vines, and they're one huge, massive pile over there. I've got the herb garden the way I want it, except for I have not removed those two red totes, which will be moved next year. Um, you can see I've got the grow tower up on the ladder, or on the wagon. It's coming out today. 